10 Things You Missed in Drake's What's Next Music Video Recently, the famous Canadian rapper, Drake released the EP Scary Hours 2, and this album included a song titled What's Next, and you have most probably heard this song. Well, it is one of the most popular and successful songs released by Drake. Two weeks ago, Drake released the music video of this song. You might have watched the music video, but I am sure you missed some prominent things in this music video such as Drake's private airplane and his new clothing line with Nike. Hi guys! Welcome back to Rap Trends, and in today's video, I am going to tell you about the top 10 things that you missed in the What's Next music video. However, before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon, so you never miss any updates. Without further ado, let's get into this. Number 10, Air Drake. First of all, Drake shows off his private jet in the music video. At the beginning of the music video at about 9 seconds, you see an airplane. Well, this airplane is owned by Drake himself. It is of no surprise that Drake owns a private jet. Think about it, he is one of the best-selling rappers out there. In fact, Drake has sold more than 170 million records globally. Let me tell you that RIAA has ranked him the highest certified digital singles artist in the United States. Here, it is worth mentioning that the total net worth of Drake is estimated to be around $180 million. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he has earned more than $430 million during his career. Back in May of 2019, Drake posted a video on Instagram, revealing his Boeing 767 private jet. He calls it Air Drake. Moreover, these words are also painted on the private jet. In the video, Drake, whose real name is Aubrey Drake Graham, claims that this private jet is all his with no timeshare, no co-owners, and no rental. Today, a similar model private jet would cost you around $75 to $100 million. On the side of the plane, there is an owl logo and the cabin is like a massive lounge. Some of the features of the lounge include comfy leather armchairs, carpeted floor, and plush velvet sofas. Moreover, there are tables, lamps, and a massive TV inside the plane. It can accommodate 30 people at the same time. Number 9. Certified Lover Boy And he also shows off his new line with Nike. Two days after his 34th birthday, Drake announced on Instagram on October 26, 2020, that he will be releasing his new merch called Certified Lover Boy in collaboration with Nike. Surprisingly, the apparel collection was released in November via Drake's merch website called drakerelated.com. Now, the rapper had posted various pictures of the collaborative capsule on his Instagram story during the first quarter of 2020. It is worth noting that the collection features 13 co-branded Drake X Nike pieces. These pieces include two bomber jackets, a hat, socks, t-shirts, and hoodies. However, both bomber jackets were labeled friends and family only, which means you cannot buy these bomber jackets. It is not the first time Drake has collaborated with Nike. He announced back in 2013 that he was signing a deal with Nike. And then in December 2020, the rapper announced a sublabel called Nocta in collaboration with Nike. He said, I always felt like there was an opportunity for Nike to embrace an entertainer the same way as athletes to be associated with the highest level possible was always my goal. The first collection was sold out by January 2021. Number 8. The CN Tower. Did you notice that Drake filmed some parts of his video on top of the CN Tower? Located in downtown Toronto, Ontario, this tower is a concrete communication and observation tower. Let me tell you that it is over 550 meters high. And Toronto is the place where Drake was born back on October 24, 1986. It is worth mentioning that the tower was completed back in 1976, nearly 10 years before Drake was born. This tower remained the tallest freestanding structure for 32 years until the year 2007 when Burj Khalifa was constructed. Moreover, the CN Tower remained the tallest tower in the world until the year 2009. It was surpassed by the Canton Tower. Today, the CN Tower is the ninth tallest freestanding structure in the world. In September 2020, Drake shared a shot of the CN Tower's flashing red hearts. He wrote CLB in the caption. You might also want to note that back in 2019, the tower went all gold for Drake's Grammy win. He had requested the mayor of Toronto to turn the tower gold for his Grammy win. Number 7. His Rolls-Royce has a chrome heart interior. Whether you hate his music or love his music, you have to admit that Drake has exquisite taste in cars and jewelry. And who can forget his lavish houses? So, in the music video, we get to see his Rolls-Royce. 
And we also see the beautiful and unique interior of the car. And this is not the only Drake's car that we see in the music video. Well, we also see a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren Roadster doing donuts under Drake's private jet and in the snow. Talking about the interior of his Rolls-Royce, it has a custom chrome hearts interior. You can see the interior of the car at multiple points in the video. Number 6. He got a whole subway train to film in. Well, this whole music video shows Drake singing along and flexing the luxuries he can afford. Well, the Canadian rapper even got an entire subway train to film his music video. At 1.26, you can see the rapper entering the subway train. There is no one on the train except Drake and his homie. Well, that's what you do when you are rich and successful. This is another proof why Drake is the best. Number 5. Drake loves high fashion. As I have already mentioned that Drake has shown off his luxurious things in the music video. And you can also see him wearing a Prada jacket, as well as Prada gloves. Let me tell you that the jacket costs a whopping $4,000. This bomber jacket is from Mayachia Prada and RAF Simon's collaborative autumn slash winter collection of this year. Here, it is worth mentioning that Drake is the first person to wear a coveted piece from this yet unreleased collection. The rapper sports a Fuchsia XL Prada bomber jacket, which won't be hitting shelves until at least August of this year. Well, it is another indicator that this man is pretty much still at the top of the game. Let me tell you that the jacket features a chunky sleeve pouch, cuffed wrists, and waists, and it is intentionally oversized. Number 4. A snow plow is mounted to his Maybach. You don't regularly see snow plows roaming out in the streets, right? However, it is common in Canada. So, in his latest music video, the rapper features a Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 SUV. The SUV comes loaded with luxurious appointments and features. And we can surely say that this is the most fashionable snowplow. In the What's Next music video, we see the rapper hanging out of the window of his car as the Maybach SUV plows the streets of Toronto. Tony Bet, the man behind this car, tweeted a picture of the car with the caption, Yours dances, ours plows. Say hello to the world's first Maybach snowplow. Well, the car which has been fitted with a snowplow to clear the snow in the streets of Toronto is one of the only two cars in existence. You might want to note that it costs $2 million. Number 3, he paid homage to Toronto. It looks like the rapper loves his hometown, and he paid homage to Toronto by driving under the Gardiner Expressway. Let me tell you that it is 18 kilometers long and was named after the first chair of the now defunct Metro Council, Frederick G. Gardiner. So, why is the Gardiner Expressway important to the people of Toronto? Well, it is a central piece of transportation infrastructure and provides access to downtown Toronto from the surrounding suburbs. Built during the 1950s and 1960s, almost every person living in Toronto has a memory attached to this expressway. Number 2, his friends are included in the music video. And this rapper has included his friends in the music video. The first person is Noah James Shebib who is also known as 40. Well, this Toronto-based producer is most probably best known for his collaborations with Drake. The two are co-founders of the OVO Sound label. Moreover, we saw Baka Not Nice, whose real name is Travis Savory, in the video. He is Drake's right-hand man, and he is also signed to OVO Sound. Number 1. The song is a massive hit. Lastly, this song was a massive success. Drake released this song as part of an EP titled Scary Hours 2. The EP included two other songs, Wants and Needs and Lemon Pepper Freestyle. All of these songs reached number one, number two, and number three on the Billboard Hot 100, with What's Next taking the number one spot. Drake is the first artist to debut three songs in the top three spots on the chart. 